Good day and welcome to another episode of ProCon Know How with your host, Jakubus Uberoster. I'm an AC technical consultant for uh, Micrographics and I also run with uh, ProCon support from the Micrographics side. And I'll be taking you through a small little clip today, or rather short little clip, <clears throat> excuse me, on, on just what you can do with your reference axes or axes. I've learned recently within Humo. So it's quite an unassuming little tool. Got your reference axis there. And in general, you won't really have much need for it, or that's what you think, until you come across some interesting issues. And with the latest update of Sumo, there's a new function that has been added to your reference axis, and that's called the project function. And we'll dive into that today. So what we have here is we have a beautiful little model. And at first glance, it doesn't seem like there's anything wrong. Okay. So I'm going to continue on modeling. I see that uh, my Perlins are in. I'm quite happy. But what I want to do is I actually want to split the Perlins between these lines. I'm probably going to put in some cords over there because uh, this is a absolutely massive uh, clear span for those Perlins. Those lines aren't actually structural elements. They are just lines that help me with my modeling. And so what I want to do is I want to navigate to my analytical model view, and I now want to be able to add a beam. So one of the things I'll do, go to beam. I have my Perlin already selected. I'll have my intersection snapping on and nearest just to help. And you'll see there it snaps to that uh, intersection over there. And yet once I come to this line here, and it's all, all of these are on the same plane, it's just not snapping. <clears throat> so what on earth is happening? So it doesn't snap to any one of these points and none of these are snapping actually, which means that for me to split these burdens at this stage will be an absolute nightmare because it will most likely not be accurate. Um, it will have some dimensional issues as well. And of course I need to investigate the tip now. So if I go, Right to the tip, I see, oh my goodness, there is a disconnect here. So one of the things I can do is the drop function, but that comes with its own problems sometimes, and you might have a uh, some dimensional issues, minor dimensional issues. I can decide to select it and I can snap it, but there is no way, no way I can snap it. Even with perpendicular snapping on all the way from the other side of the model, it's just not picking up uh, the perpendicular position from the other side of the model. So what do I do? I can redraw them, but I am not list for that. So what I can do, I can just define a new reference axis. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to make sure to snap to that point there. So I'm going to put in snapping on as well. I'm going to snap to that side over there. And then I'm going to hit Z and I'm going to snap to that point over there. All right, so reference axis has been defined. I've got two, so you see that's reference axis one, reference axis two, and you can see in the reference axis table, both of them are listed there as well. So you can turn these off. If you wanna find them, you just hit find again, and turn it on, or just hit the visible button there. So now what I wanna do is I wanna to navigate to reference axis two, so I'm now running on this reference axis and you can see that the grid lines have changed. I want to select all of these elements now and I'm going to hit project. Okay. So what that should have done is it should have projected this entire line as it is onto that line right there. So it projected all of these purlins onto this reference axis. So it seems like there's connection. I'm going to try, I'm going to actually just switch back to none. I'm going to go to beams again with in snapping off and intersection on. There I can snap, I can snap there, I can snap there, I can snap there. So we have, we have achieved what we wanted to achieve with the project function. Uh, this is a very, very handy, especially when it comes to trimming and extending, because unless they are coplanar, 
and inline, you cannot trim any elements. The trim functions are extremely finicky within Sumo, and that project function really, really helps to ensure that the elements that you're looking to trim are all coplanar. Even to be sure, I could have selected these lines as well and projected them. So now what I can do is if I go to modify, <clears throat> I hit trim, I select these two objects, I press enter, I can trim. Whereas before I wouldn't have been able to do that. So there you go, there is your project function that you get with using your reference accesses. I think a very uh, an overlooked function, and I think especially with the new um, project option available, it has really become an incredibly useful tool. So yeah, please don't please don't forget about it. Make use of it, especially if you're looking to trim and extend elements, and for some reason you're just not getting that right. Maybe maybe try this out. So yeah, short and sweet. That is all from me for today, just with regards to this particular clip. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And of course, if you're looking at uh, or you're keen to have uh, additional content developed, uh, please yeah, throw some info in the comment section there, and I'll definitely be sure to have a look at it and uh, yeah, make some work of it. Thank you so much. Have an awesome week and see you guys in future videos.